Hey guys, RJ here. So today it's gonna be something different. Today we're gonna talk about some food. Ooh. Today we're gonna talk about food. Well, more specifically, Filipino food. It's called lechon. We pretty much um got the idea from the Spanish colony when they invaded us a few years back. I don't know when, <laughs> I don't know how or when the history, but it's all about that. To them, it's called suckling pig, I think. And other countries do it, like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and other countries as well. But to us, yeah, we usually do big and usually very big pigs. But yeah, we just use the chon to be much for festivals, weddings, etc. Any big things that you could think of, we use that. It's just basically um, a roasted pig that we like cook over charcoal in about three or four hours maybe a little bit more just to make sure we pretty much marinated the pig inside you use your um, whatever ingredients you may have do you stuff the pig as well yes we do we could pretty much put anything that you want in it and obviously we all have our own thing that we put on it but as a promise to my dad's friend and to him that's something I can't discuss out of confidentiality ah oh, man but all I could say is that everyone has got their own thing that they put inside I'm sure of that everyone does and so do we we actually have a big roasting pit in our house and we do it in there but there's only about four people that do it normally two is two people is actually make sure that the charcoal is like being fed being like um, cooked evenly and spread out while the other two is just like taking each turn to turn the pig every 10-15 minutes or so. We do actually have a big pit, a roasting pit that my dad, his friends and me build. So we went to like our normal DIY store, just like b and in the UK. And we basically bought like from one of them big bricks, like housing bricks or building bricks that they call it, cement and sand. We bought a bunch of them and took it home with us and we basically spent nearly an entire well nearly an entire day getting the supplies getting the pipes and um pretty much building it on that day and the pipes is what actually that took some time to work out and work to get it because that takes a lot of time to cut and for the mixing of the cement obviously that didn't take long but we need to work out the length of it and the width of it and how long it should be. Besides some um, cooking it, besides cooking the two pigs, we actually had it a few years back, having it on the, let's say, a, is it called a, like, um, christening of the pit. So we cooked two pigs and we had about four or five people with us. Like I said before, two people are taking care of the charcoal, make sure it's burning right, being like adding more when necessary. And then two other people turning each time of the rows. We do it hand and electric as well. So it's whichever one is easier for that day. And basically the other two people just keep us company or play the guitar, which is actually really cool. Keep us, you know, awake at around 6, 7 a.m. Because normally we cook it at around, yeah, at around, we start around 5, we wake up, me and my dad wake up at 4. Basically, from 5 a.m., we pretty much cook it. we usually done just before the party, about an hour and a half. Slightly a little bit more or less, depending on how well the pig is cooked. Obviously, we check the temperature of the pig inside to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. But, yeah, besides that, all is good. And once it's done and cooked, that's it. We either eat it or celebrate it or yeah, deliver it to whoever it needs to be delivered and belong. It's mostly the men who um, cook the pig at our house and things like that. And it's mostly the, the women who set up all of the food at where the party is going to take place. And once that's done, we just wait for a party and hopefully it all goes well. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. And that's it. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
thank you for watching the latest video. Um, if you like that, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, don't be afraid to comment if you want to, you know, say a comment or something. And we hope to be out with more videos soon.